Hey, what's up everyone? Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye here. And this question stemmed up from something that Rick Mentor had asked in the recent Q&A video. And that is essentially medium format versus full frame in regards to megapixel wise. And I guess kind of medium format versus full frame anyway, using like 50 megapixels. So like a 50 megapixel Fuji GFX, which is coming out and it is gorgeous looking. And some of the image quality I've seen is amazing. But especially to like a 50 megapixel Canon 5DS, 5DSR, why wh why would you buy one over the other? The prices are different and everything. Let's break down some things. I'm gonna show you a couple examples and even the physical sizes. I, it, let's break it down. So one of the first things you'll notice is obviously the sensor size physically. And I'm gonna credit where these pictures came from because I think it's important. Um, you're gonna physically see that that the medium formats are bigger. That's one of the biggest things. They're, they're bigger. Uh, they allow a lot more information, a lot more data and light to come in. And that's obviously one of the biggest things. And looking at the um, kind of the size chart and everything, you're also going to see, and it's a little confusing with crop factor, so don't worry about that. Just pay attention to the squares. You're going to see the different sizes between crop factor, media, uh, uh, full frame, if be it 35 millimeter equivalent, and then what you get more space wise as you get into medium format. And kind of think like you're going from 720p to 1080p to 4K, 8K, et cetera, in that regards as well you're getting more information, less crop and everything, and you're getting uh, just a lot more of what you want. And the second thing, and I don't wanna break this down a ton, is the crop factor. The more information you have, the less you're cropping in. That's why crop factors really aren't that good if you like wider angles, because, or especially if you want a wider angle, is because it crops in. Like, can you get 1.5? Can you get a little bit worse with a 1.6? And then it you know changes from there. That's why four thirds aren't the best for stuff like that as well you're getting smaller and smaller with the sensors. But the more you get, the more information you let on. Like for example, the D750 with my 15 to 30 is on right now. This is the 1530. If this was on a crop sensor camera, you'd get pretty much kind of maybe another half or a quarter cut in and you're losing a lot more of that information as well. The biggest sensor, that's why a lot of people move full frame, you're getting better image quality and low light performance. A lot of medium format cameras, obviously they're bigger, they don't have enough they don't produce enough noise or grain, which is great for something like that. They're just bigger camera, they're slower for the most part, I'll cover that in a second, but you're allowing a lot more light to hit the sensor and for it to absorb it and to use more of that uh, for display. So you're getting a lot more in, in regards to that. So your image quality is gonna be better. That's why it's the resolution is super sharp, especially in the studio. When you see the crop factors coming, you know, when someone crops into an eye, it's gonna look decent, but the medium format's gonna look a little bit better. And I'm gonna combine these two and it's more or less the price and the reason of use. Now the price, you're gonna see a huge difference in regards to the price. You're getting like the Fuji GFX, which is gonna be about uh, seven grand for the most part. And then you have like the Hasselblad, one of their newest ones that came out, that's gonna be almost nine grand. You have phase one, which is more, all, all that kind of stuff. They are relatively more expensive. Like a Canon 5 DSR is not that. It's thousands. You know, I think it's I think what is it? Four thousand? A little, even a little less. Whatever. Uh, if if it's majorly different, I'll note that. But you're not spend. You're spending half that to get something high quality in a full frame DSLR body. So that's one of the biggest things. And then it comes down to your reason of use. So why do you want this medium format? And a lot of people want it because they shoot things for. Uh, for print, for billboards, for studio, for professional clients, uh, for more or less, you're, you're shooting for bigger things, you want more resolution, and you don't need something as fast. That's why you shoot medium format. But that's not to say you can't print big with DSLRs and full frame and even your iPhone for that matter. I know it's a big jump, but you can you could produce an amazing 11 by 16, 24 by whatever, just from having at least six or 10 megapixels. Obviously, the more you have, you get a little bit more usability out of it, and the ability to crop a little bit more as well. So 50 megapixel medium format sensor, you're gonna get a lot more resolution and printability out of it compared to a little bit smaller full frame. It's it's different, but it's not amazingly different, but you will notice that. The other thing to keep in mind is the lenses. To use the, the 5DS, the Canon 5DS and 5DSR is an interesting comparison because you do need the higher quality lenses made for Canon. If you use a lot of these lower end full frame or kind of junkier ones, it's gonna degrade the image a lot. So with that sensor in, in regards to the resolution you're pumping out of that, and same thing with the Nikon D810 and possibly D820 or whatever it's gonna be, 
you need the best lenses for that. A lot of medium format lenses are pretty much optically the best made because they need to be to work with these cameras. So that is a big thing to keep in mind. But once again, you're going up in price a ton. I have a feeling if you're asking if you need medium format versus full, full frame, you're not necessarily, don't you don't need it. It's a very specialized camera, full frame, 5DSR is a very strong choice if you wanna do a lot of that studio work. Another thing that it comes down to is autofocus. Medium formats use a lot of contrast autofocusing, which is a little bit more accurate, but it is very slow compared to what you're getting in a lot of these DSLRs, mirrorless cameras now with phase detect focus. Some of them use hybrid, but with phase detect, it could be a little inaccurate at times, but it is no doubt faster and better in regards to that. So if that's something you're very interested in, you need something with faster autofocusing to keep up, the 5DS, 5DSR type of sensor uh, is definitely gonna win in regards to something like that. Cause that's just not how medium formats are made or what they're really used for. And one of the last comparisons I'll bring up is in regards to uh, flash speed, sync speed and everything. With a uh, full frame, you you usually get a one two fiftieth, two hundredth sync speed without using, uh, without having, the, you know, with having the need to use triggers and everything to get something higher. With having something like mirrorless, like a Fuji, or with something, especially like a medium format, a lot of those have leaf shutters. They work naturally uh, with using the higher speed sync and everything. So it's a little less complicated in regards to that. You don't need anything necessarily special for that. I'm trying to dumb this down a little bit too. Now there's probably a little bit more to cover in regards to medium format versus um, full frame format, uh, especially at 50 megapixels, but I hope I answered a lot of your questions and it really comes down to why you even need to use feed a medium, medium format, medium format or the price or anything on how you can justify it, but it really just comes down to you. Um, if you feel like you need that and you're not working in a fast paced environment, medium format is pretty damn gorgeous. But full frame, for the most part, will cover everything that you need, and especially the option in those cameras, and that's why, you know, the D810 was very, very popular, the Canon 5DS, 5DSR, then the higher uh, Sony cameras as well, why their pixels were desired, is because you're getting a lot more resolution for something like that. So if you have any more comments or questions, or if you want to add anything, let me know down below. I tried to make this as simple as understand as possible. I haven't owned medium format. I've used a little bit, especially some of the phase one stuff. And I messed with a little bit of the Hasselblad stuff at Photo Plus, and oh my gosh, I was blown away. But I'm very interested to see how the GFX works and possibly when all that really comes out and it kind of catches up, I'm gonna do my best to get it for the channel to see if, how it works and to see if it's worth investing in. You never know, I might do something like that not gonna happen, it's too expensive, I'm too cheap. Thank you so much for watching, Eric Rice of the Guy with the Eye. Ricks, thank you so much for sending in that question and for the idea. Uh, it's a big deal, it's a, it's a good question. Um, you will get better image quality at a medium format, but don't discount full frame in comparison.